If you've been following along, you know that there are a lot of things out here to do. There are a lot of things to redo. This is one of the things that I'm doing again. Not that it wasn't working, but as you can see from all the debris that I'm taking out of here, is that it just, the water is not flowing through. And what this is, is my filter for the gutters because as I, as it rains, there's a lot of debris that was coming down on top of the house from the trees that I have around here, leaves and other little things. But it's a lot of leaves, but the leaves aren't that much of a problem is the other little things. And I don't know what those things are, but they come off the trees also. And as they build up, they clog the, the filter. And what I have in this filter is sand and gravel mostly sand a lot of gravel so what i was thinking of doing is that the sand would actually be the last stop before the water filters through that and goes into the tote now the gravel on top of that is to basically keep the larger things from growing through like the leaves because some leaves come through because i didn't have any covering on my gutters for a minute so some leaves came through, but mostly it's the little things. And over time, little things have built up because the trees are right over the house. Right now, fortunately, because as you're looking at this video, I've cut two trees that were leaning over the house. If you watch the other two videos, you saw that the first tree I cut almost hit the back of the house. Fortunately, that didn't happen. The second tree, the limbs was hanging over the house. I got rid of that also. And once I did that, I went on top of the house and I cleaned up all the leaves and everything so that I could judge how much leaves and debris that were falling onto the house afterwards. And to my surprise and great excitement, not very many leaves are falling on the, onto the house. So that tells me most of the leaves and debris that was falling onto the house came from the two trees that was mostly covering the house. So since that's done, I can go ahead and take care of this because the water was not flowing through. It was so uh, stopped up. So as you can see, I'm putting some sand back in. I ritzed the sand out and made it as clean as I can. So I'm gonna follow up with that and start putting in some some gravel and get my, my strainers back in also because what I do is I have in the very bottom, I have a paint strainer in the bottom of that. On top of the tote, I have um, another strainer that will stop anything from going through that. And then between the sand and the gravel, I have a strainer there so that particles won't go through there. If they did go through, the sand would stop some of it. If it went through the sand, the strainer at the bottom of the bucket after the sand will stop that. And then if that didn't stop it, then hopefully, the strainer on top of the tote would stop that. So that's my system. The rain come down through the gutters into the top of the filter. It sits there for a minute until it can drain through and hopefully not too, too much water is coming through. But there was a situation where it was so much rain coming down that the water at the top of the filter wasn't draining through fast enough. It could have been because the tote was already full because it doesn't take much for the rain to fill this tote. So that could have been a thing, but at any rate, it was pouring out the side of the filter and then flowing off to the side. I do have to put in an overflow so that I can take care of that, but everything, you know, works out fine because I'm cleaning this thing out and hopefully when I come back, I can get another tote so I can have another 250 gallons. But I like to have about three to five totes over here so I can catch as much water as possible because it doesn't make sense to me to let the water go as opposed to catching it because I can use it. When I started cleaning this filter, the tote was full. But as you can see, I've been running a lot of water through here, so I'm using a bit. So I think by the time I get done, I'm going to be down to almost half, but fortunately, 
after I got this thing done and finished and all put back together, I got a good rain, then it filled all the way back up. So that tells me I need at least two or three more toes to handle the amount of rain that we get here. And if I'm here for any long periods of time, I could possibly need more water. I'm not going to be using this water to drink, but between the shower and the toilet, I'll use a, a decent amount. If I'm here by myself, I won't be using very much because if I need to use the restroom, I can actually go outside and use a tree or just any place because I don't necessarily need to you know, flush the toilet with that kind of thing. I have plenty of space around here to do that. But once again, if I can capture the water, I might as well. So I'll see what I can do about that. As you can see, I'm taking the, the gravel that was actually on the top of the, of the filter because that's where most of the debris piled up because it couldn't go all the way through. Although as time went, it, go, it did go pretty deep because you can see the water is pretty dark, which meant that it went down pretty deep. So I'm taking this out right now so then I can go ahead and put the rest of it on so that we can put this thing back on the top. Now once I get everything put back together, I'm going to be running some water through it because I want to go ahead and get the water to flow through as quickly as possible and let some of the dirt from the sand and the residual dirt that's already in there. Actually, I want to let the water clean some of the filter out so that once it starts to rain, it'll be pretty clean as it goes into the tote. Mind you, I'm going to have a filter system for when the water comes out of the tote. I can filter it before it goes into the house because I don't want to have too much debris or any debris going into the pump because that will shorten the life of my pump and that wouldn't be a good thing because I'd have to replace my pump pretty quickly so that's what I'm going to do shortly so So this is where I'm actually putting some water in so I can get some of the debris coming out of the bottom because once you stir up all this debris and everything, there's always going to be some left because I didn't want to empty my tote just cleaning this thing out when I can actually do what I'm doing now. And I think I put in about five gallons or so so that I could go ahead and get, get it cleaned out with the sand and the gravel and the water that's left to drain out this thing was pretty heavy getting it back up there but it wasn't too too heavy so it's up there not everything is great once i get the downspout into it all i have to do now is wait for rain and we're done with this project so on to the next project so i'll see you on the next video